This episode is gonna get a little windy. Yo, 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 you guys, it's that cartoonist back once again, and I am back with Black Lightning Season 2, Episode 2. If you guys are looking at the content, go ahead and hit me with a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll get into this right now. The scene opens up with Tobias and Painkiller playing chess. And if there was any question about Tobias being pissed about Cyanide, yeah, no, he's pissed about Cyanide being dead and pissed about why Painkiller wasn't there to stop it. And while they're playing chess, Tobias starts lashing out on Painkiller, smacking him up every move he makes playing chess as he's getting closer to checkmate. And he's, he's like mad angry. And Painkiller or Khalil is just like, what the heck, I was doing what I was told. And Tobias basically says, you should have expected to get expected. We're back at Lynn's pod area or whatever and a few of the pods are open. In fact, one of these kids starts spewing out this crazy beam, ends up killing one of the other um, scientists there, and that unlocks another pod, which has a girl who is literally using all of her wind powers, and they're trying to calm her down. Lynn is trying to calm this young lady down. More scientists are popping in. She's trying to tell them to stop. But of course, <laughs> the more people coming in, this girl is disoriented. She's been on ice for a while. She ends up busting up in a wall and going out of the wall. They have no idea where this young lady went. This girl clearly has win-like abilities and Lynn alerts Jefferson and Jefferson is now on the case. Gammy ends up confirming the young girl's name is Wendy Hernandez and she was captured 30 years. She has aerokinesis. So she's able to control wind the same way that Jefferson controls lightning. Now Lynn is giving a new task and she ends up getting Issa and the young boy from the earlier episode and his power is confirmed to be able to tell the, make people tell the truth. And she she gets him through the guy who was questioning her before. And she's like, what am I supposed to do with him? And dude's just like, you wanted this job, figure it out. So now Lynn has more on her plate to deal with. Anissa and Jen talk about their powers and Jen is still convinced it's not a gift. And Anissa reminds her, you know, these are a gift. And Jen's like, give me an example. And Anissa's like, well, have you had a cramp lately? And Jen's like, oh, no, no, no. Now, if there was any question about Issa's powers before, there is no question now. When his sister comes to visit him in the hospital, because he's in the hospital now, she's looking at him and he's looking at her. And she says some really hurtful things and like, Lynn is like, whoa, what is that? What, what are you doing? And then the sister's like, yo, I can't be here right now. I don't know what's going on. She leaves. And like, you see like, it's just kind of like, what the heck is going on? But I think he has a better grasp or a better understanding of his abilities, what he's able to do to people. Oh, did I mention that? And this has a little new boo thing or whatever? Yeah. She went to one of these little soiree parties, whatever. The little boo thing was playing on the guitar and you know, she has a new item. I could have swore it was gonna be Grace, but hey, I just, hey, whatever, do your thing. Jefferson and Naper end up talking about the principal position and how he's gonna be replaced by a white principal in a predominantly black area. And the school board wants Jefferson's 100% support because Jefferson is so well-loved in the community. And they want him to basically just welcome this man in with no issues at all. They don't want him to do nothing. Just say yes and keep it pushing. And Jefferson's having a hard time struggling with that. Black Lighting and Thunder end up suiting up to go ahead and try to find Wendy. Cause Wendy is on the loose and like, they need to find her like ASAP. Around the same time, Khalil goes to try to see Jen. Jen is still pissed about all the things he's done in the past. He discusses his feelings about how he still feels about Jen and how he can't forget about her. In fact, he says that he can't go against Tobias because Tobias has him on a leash. And Jennifer's powers start to go a little bit haywire. You start to see her hands glow, her thing, like her eyes glowing a little bit. She turns away from Khalil and tells him to go away. She calls the cops. Khalil, I don't care about that. She basically just tells him to leave because one, her powers are going out of, out of hand. And Khalil just kind of takes it as, oh, you, know, you might not like me anymore or whatever. But she never actually says that, so. 
They might still, I don't know what they're gonna do with that situation. Khalil's just in a whole lot of doo-doo. More or less, Khalil is scared of Tobias, as well he should be. Tobias ends up going to talk to one of his old friends, Marcellus, and tells him about his plans for the future and how he plans to weaponize these metahumans. Marcellus is one of his friends from a while ago, and you know, he ends up killing Marcellus because Marcellus is a loose end. Tobias, I guess, just decided to call up, cut up all his loose ends and be done with it. And it was kind of sad because they were playing chess, reminiscing, and you could see that they had a bond, a real like friendship bond, but Marcellus is older, being taken care of. If you're to be questioned, it, it, it could possibly be bad for Tobias, so he doesn't even want the option there. Wendy is still on the loose, and we see a path of destruction she's already caused due to her air-like powers. So Black Lightning and Thunder end up cleaning up her mess. Black Lightning's absorbing all electricity from the power lines that are knocked down. And this is moving the car to protect people. And of course they're climbing for the team. And <clears throat> Anissa starts to bow down and just kind of, you know, showboating ever so slightly. And though it's minor, Black Lightning is just kind of like, you gotta stop doing that. We're not about that. And it's like, you know, chill out, chill out. We're giving them what they love. And Black Lightning knows, I guess, firsthand possibly, how that might lead to a different path if you're trying to be a superhero. Now, Issa goes to the family dinner. And in my head, I'm almost like, well, if he makes him tell the truth, like, this is about to be a whole mess. And of course, he, like, literally, they all start telling their feelings about each other. Jefferson is pissed at Anissa for quote unquote showboating. Um, and how she's not taking the hero thing seriously. Jennifer's pissed about being kept in the house. Lynn is pissed about Jennifer always complaining. <laughs> and this is pissed at Jefferson. Everyone's pissed at each other. And it was crazy. They all realized his power and they all left the room. <laughs> it was funny. It was hilarious to me. And like, you see, it's just sitting there just kind of like eating like, oh, well, I figured out my power. Like it was, you know, making people tell the truth whenever I look at them. So <laughs> everybody leaves the room. And like Jennifer goes upstairs and Nissa goes one way. And then Jen comes back downstairs and tells Nissa to come upstairs. And we then we just kind of like, I'm just kind of like wondering like, what are they gonna do? So Jennifer actually is really cool about this. She actually helps Issa better understand his power. We we find out that he has to look at them in order to make them tell the truth. If he looks away and asks a question, or if he talks to them, they can lie just the same. But of course, you know, um, Jennifer was smoking at this time and Issa gets, gets called back down stairs and Jennifer is just like, look, you can make her tell the truth. Doesn't mean you gotta tell the truth. So I'm not even up here, all right, thank you, bye. And that was pretty funny to me. Anissa ends up running into Grace at one of her new boo things, soirees. And Grace is annoyed with Anissa and you can see it. And Anissa's kind of like, sorry, I haven't had a chance to talk to you. Things have been kind of crazy, busy. And Grace's like, well, I have to work, so yeah. So I think Anissa might, you know, get in her head that, you know, Grace is like really for her, but we'll see later on in the series. Tobias is still cutting off some loose ends. He ends up meeting with one of his, one of his people and he gets that information and then shoots him. Yeah, there's not a lot of job security with Tobias. Jefferson is talking to some of the um, other people about him stepping down as principal and they are just like why are you doing this what's going on you know that's not right that's not cool um, we need you as a principal school board ain't having it they're not with it now Issa and Lynn talk about Issa's condition we learn that Issa's genetics we learn that Issa's genetics are not stable and at his current rate he only has like several months to live um, and he can either continue living his life until they find a cure or they can throw him in a pod until they find something. Um, so Issa decides he just wants to live his life. Black Lightning goes stop Wendy, but Wendy's being irrational, just attacking everything. So Black Lightning actually zaps her and that makes her come too. And she realizes what she may have been doing um, in her weakened state. And Black Lightning goes to help her out. Jefferson and Anissa actually end up having a big fight, but they end up talking about Wendy later on and how she decided to go back into the pod 
until she, they could figure out a way to save her. At the end of the episode, you see Jefferson in front of the whole school, talking to his students and everybody there. He loves the school, he loves the kids, he loves everybody there, and he's sad he has to go, but he, he gives his full support to the acting principal, blase, blase, blase. And then, this is my favorite part, like, one of the kids is just like, you know, where is the future? Quoting Black Lightning's mantra to him. And he goes with it and all the kids like go along with it and they start applying for Jefferson. That was really powerful. I enjoyed this episode so much. Y'all already know I love Black Lightning, so we're just gonna keep on doing what we do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See tunes, out.